I'd like to introduce you to a Dutchman called Wim van der Plas. During the last 10 years he worked in art education, introducing computers in art schools all over Holland. Among other things, he was the managing director of the leading educational institute for computer animation in the Netherlands. He is also co-founder of ICEA, the Inter-Society for the Electronic Arts. This is what we will be talking about for the next few minutes. First of all, Wim, why is electronic art important? Hello Fred, nice interactive installation you got here. Well, as a sociologist, I'm interested in bringing the worlds of art and science together, which is very difficult, but within the electronic arts, you have a chance of doing that because the disciplines need each other. Furthermore, I think our culture, our popular culture, becomes more and more electronic every day. People have television sets, video recorders, tomorrow CDI players, computers. So on the one hand, our culture, the culture of the 21st century, is electronic. If the artists were left out of that, if they were not involved with the electronics, uh, we would have a dangerous development of culture going one way and art going the other way. So I think it's very important that artists work with the electronic means that we have nowadays. What is ICEA mean? ICEA is the um, Inter-Society for the Electronic Arts. Inter-Society means it's a, it's a meta-organization. It's an organization of organizations. Although individuals can become members too, we mainly try to connect all the institutes and organizations that are uh, active in the field of electronic art so that they can work together. So what is electronic art? Well, um, it's hard to give a definition, but uh, we have a working definition. It implies that it uh, should be essential to use electronic means to make this kind of art. If you can do it with other means, then it's not so interesting. And it's also not art that is distributed by electronic min means, but it is art produced by electronic means, like for example, computer graphics, computer animation, computer music, interactive art, uh, genuine video art, etc. And, and what does ICEA do in this context? ICEA publishes a uh, monthly newsletter, and that's sent to, uh, to all the members. This is the uh, printed version. We also have an electronic version that's di distributed uh, via the electronic mailing networks. Furthermore, we are um, busy with a, uh, a journal, an international journal on electronic art. And our most spectacular activity is the uh, International Symposia on Electronic Art. We organized those since 1988. And there are some examples of the publications of those symposia here. This was of the first symposium in 1988. This was the second one in 1990 in Holland, both of them. This was in Australia in 1992. 1993 in Minneapolis in the USA. 94 in Helsinki. 95 is Montreal. The symposium returns to Europe every other year. Are there already a lot of electronic art festivals? Ars Electronica, for example. Yes, there are lots of festivals, but the ICEA symposia are not festivals. The uh, kernel of the event is an academic congress. and The festivals leave, leave you with a feeling of confusion, even though Ars Electronica and the other festivals are great fun. But what we try to do is to bring a little bit of structure into the field so that we can approach the problems and the potentials of electronic art in a more systematic way. But why is there a need for structure? Well, art, electronic art is an interdisciplinary affair. We need art and we need science to cooperate. It's very hard for even for scientists to oversee all the possibilities that electronic technology has nowadays, leave alone tomorrow. For artists, 
and other non-technical people it's practically impossible to have a good overview and good insight in the possibilities that are there and that will be there tomorrow. So what goes on now is a lot of people are trying to do things in different places in the world and these things are the same. So they duplicate actions and they are not aware of what scientists are doing and scientists are not aware of what artists need. So we need to bring more clarity and we need to know what to aim our efforts to and this is meant by structure.